All right, we don't tell you say na TGIF. This one means say na feel good, Faji and feel Friday. Now me today. This one means say waiting the missy on top bad things. We get gadget guests back to back. Pa pa pa. Now we get this guy, very young guy in the industry. Um, in an up and coming artist, and he's been he's been in the industry and he don't do what he's to do best. So you're gonna need to help us make welcome this morning. Show AKA Shay Billy. Good morning, Shay Billy. Good morning. How you guys doing? Good to have you in the house. Thank you, thank you. Now, you know, Routine, every Friday we they try to bring in artists, especially um, new and fresh artists where it gets potential for growth for inside the music industry. Now, I just want to know, first of all, what does music mean to you? And why music out of every other sector where you actually invest your time and energy into? Why music? And what does music mean to you? First of all, music, I mean, it's something that has been part of my family, you know, from... from very young, my mom, my mom day into music. Like she's she she was one of the leaders in my in my church choir and stuff like that. So it's been part of the family you know tradition to be music. So I was introduced to it when I was small, and um, getting old it was very easy for me. So I found love you know with music, and I was really happy that you know it's part of things that I really like. Then music really means a lot to me because you know when you find something where they do what they say you know. You're very comfortable doing it, and you know it's not like you're struggling. You know, it's it's what God has called you to do, or it's what your, your talent. What's what is your talent? You know, you know it's a very very comfortable, you know, environment for you. So that's why you know I decided to pick it because you know if you find something where you like to do and you take them as work, you know, then you never work in your life. You know, it's just like you're having fun. So, that's so how why. how long you done the inside the industry now? It's been so long ago. Um, I could say, I mean, professionally, I started 2008, you know, with a group called G Exploit. And um, we had some different songs out there, you know, and, you know, I would say professionally, I started 2008. Okay, so now, um, now you still there with the group or you don't work as solo? No, I'm solo now. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's gone solo now. So how, how has it been? I mean, being, going solo, starting from a group and then going solo, how the transition day and how being solo in the industry don't actually day for you right now? Yeah, it's it's been very very. I mean, I would I wouldn't say it's not chal it's it's challenging because you know, I was actually you know an individual before I got into the group, you know, and I already, I already had my own vision, you know. But just being in the group, you know, sometimes you know when three heads come together, it's better sometimes. But you know, with with time and year, you know, maturity came in, and you know, I was able to understand my my sound, and I was able to understand my own kind of music that this is the direction I wanted to go. So. We group, you know, you have three heads, you know, sometimes you conflict. I wanted to go this way, I wanted to go that way. But, you know, as a solo, with maturity and, you know, direction, you know, it's, it's really a smooth transition for me. Now, the music industry, for example, with Nigeria gets lots and lots of artists. Even the one where they sing for Batum, where if you say in a singer, go yeah. inside his studio to release an album. Yes, yes. You understand? So how you don't take set yourself aside from every other artist? Waiting me that your unique, I would always like to ask the question, unique selling point. So my unique selling point is going to be, I, I started, I love R&B so much, you know, and I started from church, you know, with a little bit, bit of classical background and everything, you know. And, you know, street influence, you know, just, just combine street influence. You, you, but you know, you look like, <laughs> like gentleman, that's even the way yeah. you talk, so you're just the You look like an R&B singer. I am, like but definitely, I can't, I can't write out the fact that also I had a little bit of street influence, you know. I grew up in Surulay, you know. And, um, you know, we see the hustle and bustle, you know, and, you know, things happening, you know, and everything. So that part of it, you know, infused into my music, you know, that's just the sound. You know, you hear a little bit of R&B in my song, you know, because with time, you know, I try to, you know, it's, it's evolving. You know, music evolves, you know. Before R&B was re really, really, you know, out there, you know, at the point in time, it started going down, you know, pop, you know. So you got to evolve with the world also, you know. So, so this so, music will one place, so now which genre of music? So I would say it's an Afro R&B. Afro R&B. Yeah, it's an I, I think we need to listen to this music we before to. we ask more questions. Uh, let's yes. listen to this one by Shea Billy. Wow. 
such a cool, calm, jet jet song, just like yeah, the artist himself. He just, you know, <laughs> just feeling himself. Just I completely nice. agree. Now, there's a new wave of um, how Nigerian artists now, the kind of music whether they produce now. Yeah. Now, we don't see them. I don't see a lot of times um, Nigerians, they complain, say, if artists don't sing, they're a bad woman. Hey, <laughs> let me touch you. Oh, let me do this and that. But now we're seeing a new wave of artists trying to do conscious music. Music yeah. where they talk about um, setting um, things where they happen for inside the world and even in Nigeria in particular. Would yeah. they expect anything like that from you? Actually, I have a song like that, you know, which I plan to, you know, work on the video. I have the audio out. I mean, I did a, like a picture video on YouTube. And it's a conscious music. It's actually, actually talking about. My plan was to release it for this 2019 election because of everything happening in Nigeria. And um, you know, I've done something like that. It's just you know promotion. You know that I'm working on. I'm very very sure people will like it. Okay, Thanks now with this um, with this video, obviously it wasn't done in Nigeria here. Yeah. And um, I need to ask why you get for bring and come here con um, to to show people because we know say overseas Nigerians or even even foreigners when they overseas they appreciate mm. our Nigerian music more than um, than compare when in comparison to what they see for inside. They will know how challenging it is. So why you decide to come back home? So definitely, I mean, you if you forget your they said the river that forgets its source. You know, we dry up. You understand. So, first of all, Nigeria is you know is my foundation. This is where I started from, and um, you know I would always like to like you know have that you know acceptance and also you know have that connection back to home. So, I decided to bring it back home to let people know that you know I'm still in this game, and um, um, my music is also also still has that you know um, Nigerian spice. So definitely it's. It's one of the major reasons why I brought it back home, just to show that okay, I have I'm representing now for for where I deal, you know, understand, me? and to make sure that you know people know that uh, this guy is not away from the music industry. Nice one. Now you talk about promotion. Now a lot of artists, they have the opinion, say promoting their music and uh, for example, Budo Nigeria, they're very very challenging and hard. Yes. So how don't they for you? As you don't they for the industry for a while? Oh man, it is it is challenging, and you know it's it's so sad that you know. People, not everybody had money to promote, you know, the, sorry to say. So you need the, money to be able to promote your music? Yeah, the media, the media, I mean, I want, I, I want to say the media, I mean, they're doing a great job, you know. And I understand, you know, everybody needs to, you know, needs to, there's competition, there's high competition out there. And, you know, not everybody is making it easy. Some people are, you know, making it easy in terms of, you know, you know that you don't have money to push, you know, but, you know, you definitely need cash there's no way you're not gonna need cash even in business when you're doing business you need money for advertising but really with the advent of even i don't like other like to talk this on social media that don't make them very easy for a lot of people to promote their music exactly. so yes. how you say they leverage on that um, opportunity definitely social media it's it's it requires a skill also you know as an artist you know you you have skill to go into the studio write music and produce your music and everything you know some people have skills to actually promote you on social media, you understand? You know? So that requires skills. And where you need skills, you know, you also want to charge money, you know, to, you know, for me to The money must be involved. Somebody, so money is definitely involved. Yeah. So if you're alone, you know, you definitely need that money. Okay, so looking at the lifestyle, because you know, a lot of people get this perception, say once you be artists, you must, it means say you don't blow. Whether you just song, don't reach a certain level, you never reach your, they just assume say you don't, you must don't blow. And if you don't blow, or if you never blow, it means say certain things about you have to look good. You need to have this, yeah. you need to look this, you need to look that. Even when she, she, pop up, never went out the pocket. How you they take balance that lifestyle with waiting the inside your pocket? Especially so, when you're broke. So first of all, me, I mean, I don't have, first of all, the, I think for me, I'll, I'll speak for myself, I'm just, Gonna be real, you know. I don't need to impress anybody, you know. I, there's some artists out there, like you know, Ineka. I don't know if you know Ineka. Ineka is a very real person, you know. If you're real with your life, it's just like living your own life. It's very easy for you to maintain your real lifestyle, you know. If people will love you for who you are, you know. So with the pressure from the society, I mean, the pressure with the expectations where they get. So if you're not on the platform of say you are a big artist yet, you don't need to kill yourself over trying to, you know, create. Although some people say fake it till you make it. Exactly. You know? I'll be one just talk that so line. So if 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 you don't get money to fake calm, why you they kill yourself? You know, at the end of the day, 
if you they borrow money to fake karma, you know what? You know, you're gonna it's gonna be lose lose for you. It's gonna be lost. So if I'm real with myself, I do my music. When people see me, they say that oh, this is a good music and everything. Then when I get to the point whereby you know paparazzi and everything, you know that okay, I have the money to live that kind of lifestyle. You know, I need protection. I need because it's getting overboard. Do you understand? But if I don't get the money, why they try to they come? You know, I can walk on the streets and you know. So best thing is just to be real with yourself. I mean. In America, Hollywood, people, you see people walking in Tyrese on the street. Tyrese went to the, into the train to sell his album. So that's being real with yourself. And people actually will connect better with you when you're real with yourself then. You know, so. Very nice one. And another fact again about you, you study physics for inside University of Ibadan. Oh, yes. But now you do music work. You waste your mama and papa and school fees money. Really? <laughs> Don't worry, you have to pay them back. <laughs> but give us I your know. Twitter handle. Give us your handle. So I you know. So my mom, my mom never had a problem with me doing music. But your father? My dad. My dad was fine with it. My, funny yeah, thing is, my, them. Yeah, my dad, we... I was born into the family of creative people. My dad is a fashion designer, like top fashion designer, you know. He makes very, very beautiful. So they respect your creativity, you know. And they know that in this world today, you know, if you look at people that are really making it now, now that, you know, they know that real money is into when you are using your talent. I totally okay. agree with you. Use your talent very well. Give us that your handle, I beg. So that's... Give us your Instagram handle. Stop people oh, who follow you. It's Shay Billy Official. Shay Billy Shea Official. Billy. And where did you get this, your song? You can get it on YouTube. On YouTube, Just on other platforms Shea as well. Shay Billy. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Mo, go download them. Shay Billy. Any collaborations in future? Any little... Yeah, I'm big, trying to... Small? I mean, I'm trying to work okay, on... Okay, but you still the cook Yeah, I'm still... I'm working on my album. Oh, you know, awesome. I'm trying to, you know... I'm going to have definitely, um, definitely a lot of collaboration. Okay. Right. Shay Billy Official, now you be the handle if you to work out on top social media. Thank you so much Thank for coming much. to the studio. Thank Fantastic one. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.